Coral Reef DVMs coming at you here with one of our critters in our tank that we really like. This is our Diamond Watchman Golby, aka the Pretty Pond Maiden, Orange Spotted, Orange Spotted Sleeper Golby. There's a ton of different names for this little guy. It's been around since about the 1950s. I really like this kind of Golby because it's such a peaceful animal and it can really help oxygenate about that top inch of soil. Yes, he can dig holes down to three inches. He can uproot rocks, and he can move sand behind your tongue coral. But he's really quite the neat creature. Um, he's very peaceful. He's very calm, with the exception that he doesn't like similar ones. Um, so again, one per tank. Probably keep him in at least 30 gallons of tank. In this case, he's in a 55. He's going to sift through the sand like he's doing. He's going to make little piles. And, of course, that helps the sand bed, at least on the top surface. We also feed ours so that he doesn't go crazy and kill the sand bed either. Um, you can feed him shrimp. You can feed him um, some sinking pellets. There's a bunch of different things he seems to like. Personally, I kind of like the, the frozen foods, and he certainly seems to like that. Um, particularly, these guys are kind of known for their orange spots. They're beautiful color. It's kind of like a white with orange spots and kind of a yellow eye with a black center to it. And I really like that. Again, this guy probably about maybe two, two and a half inches long. Um, and he's, you know, a couple of years old. So um, they obviously have a pretty long lifespan in our tank. He has no problems with the clown that's in the tank. He gets along with the crab and he gets along with the shrimp. He gets along with all the invertebrates in the tank. We've had no issues with him with the tang. Everything has been good. It's a very fun fish to have. So you can see he scoops up the sand, sifts through it, spits it back out, and that's how he creates his piles. Um, this one happens to be um, bought from one of our local pet stores, so I have no idea where he came from, but I'm told that the uh, Indo-Pacific is the area that they originally were found, and of course now in the, they're into the trade. I don't know if anybody is actually raising these guys um, in captivity yet, but certainly if they are, that would be really, really cool. Um, he likes to um, get down into things, and as you see there, he hit one of my my um, uh, sand bed worms, but he just spit it out. He didn't hurt it any. He doesn't really mess with them too much. He's pretty much just after the sand itself and sifting through it, taking the microorganisms out. Carnivorous, yes, um, and uh, certainly an aerator of our sand bed, at least for about the top inch. Again, occasionally I've seen him dig a little deeper down to about three inches in one corner. He likes to make kind of a hiding hole so that he can hide. It's kind of funny to watch. As you can see here, he's just a great fish. I hope you guys enjoy one if you have one. I'd recommend the Diamond Watchman. He's just a beautiful fish. Thank you folks for watching. Please like or subscribe to our videos for us to keep producing more of these. Thank you.